<laughs> holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Today is Trinity Sunday. Today we honor Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We know that you have been working since the beginning of this world. You have been working and supporting and caring for us. You have made all things in the world. All that we can see around us is from you. The only things that truly belong to us are our sins. <laughs> we have messed up your beautiful and perfect world. We have messed up our life. We sin. We do wrong. We break your holy laws. And we know that we are worthy only of death. We are earning only your anger and your punishment now and forever. We do not want this. We do not want one deaf person to go to hell. And we don't want to go to hell ourselves. But how can we stand before you? You are holy. We are not. We know the darkness hides you from us. We cannot see your life. Please, Lord, show us, show your church your light in Jesus. Where do we look for God's light? Where is the most beautiful light of God to show? We look at the world. This spring, I see uh, our yucca, no, yucca bushes out there. The beautiful white trees all over. I have it in my mail in my mailbox. Um, it closes them, and there are three beautiful stocks of uh, yucca. Beautiful, covered with the white flowers. Is that the most beautiful things in the world? Mm, it's pretty, but it's not the most beautiful things of the world. Where is the most beautiful things of this world? The last song, to give you fair warning, the, the last song is Beautiful Savior. Is that truly the most beautiful thing of this world? Yeah. Some people think no. We say yes. Jesus is the most beautiful thing of the world. How? Why? Because Jesus gives to us eternal life. If I want to see the most ugly thing of this world, what is
is the most ugly thing? The devil. Well, I have never seen the devil. And I thank God that I have never seen that ugly devil. <laughs> but where do we see ugliness? In this world. What is most ugly? What would you hate to see most? Death. Snakes are ugly? Oh, I have seen some pretty, some cute snakes. I love to uh, catch them. I put them in my pocket. I walk along. <laughs> snakes never bother me. But I know that there are people who think that, yes, the most ugly thing is a snake. I, I do know that. You're yeah. right. They, uh, you know, many people are afraid of snakes. Like uh, the 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 human. Yeah. <laughs> Last Wednesday, I was ready to uh, start my hot tub, and I looked in the tub to see, you know, did my wife clean it? I, I looked to see, and. I was a little bit afraid myself. I saw this brown colored spider in my tub. <laughs> and I looked more close and I looked, he had a fiddle, a fiddle on his back. <laughs> what does that mean? Brown clothes. Yes. Brown recluse. And what happens if you uh, try to bathe with a brown recluse? It will bite you and hit your yes. in your flesh bowl. Yeah. My deaf friend, my deaf cousin, my second cousin is deaf. Uh, and Job has a picture on Facebook. I don't know if you saw it. But uh, he got bit on the arm, and he exercises, he exercises and, and works, and his arms are much bigger than mine. Uh, but his big old arm was red, fiery red, great big area that all of the skin had been ripped off, and you could see the blood just oozing down his arm, the picture from a little bitty brown spider bite. And I don't like to see blood. And I don't like to see it when uh, people's skin is dying. But truly, what you had said is right. What I hate to see the most is death. My cousin did not die, but you can die from a brown recluse, uh, the spider that was in my tub. Uh, I went and I got some, uh, uh, some toilet paper and folded it up and <clears throat> caught him, smashed him, and threw him away. So I'm safe, but I am blind. I could have missed that. <laughs> Scary, because that could have meant my death. When we see the movies, normally Hollywood likes to scare us. Hollywood likes to uh, look very gross. Gross, ugly, most ugly. The war movies where the people are just lang, 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 dead. Or the zombies <laughs> are coming and eating the, the brains of people. Ah. <laughs> oh. Ugly, disgusting, ugly, most ugly. But think, that kind of ugliness, 
death cannot touch us. My son Will knows that my breathing has been a problem the last couple of weeks. I've been having problems, some pain in my chest. Uh, my heart beats fast, and I don't know why. And I tell the children, I tell my family, now remember, if I die, you know, you keep on having a happy life. And they worry about me. And I tell them, don't worry. Touch me, death? No. Jesus will bring me home to heaven, and my heart will not hurt, and my body will not be old and bald and fat and blind anymore up there. There I will be perfect. But I am not in a hurry for my heart to stop. I am not in a hurry for death here. I would be happy to see uh, Will graduate from college. I would be happy to see his uh, girlfriend uh, bear their uh, 12 babies and <laughs> grow up. I would be <laughs> I would be happy to see my son Steve, my uh, second son Steve, when I found out that I was becoming blind. Steve was worried. He said, Dad, when I have a baby, Will you be able to see my baby? Will your eyes be okay to see my baby? Well, the first baby, Alice, is already born in Oklahoma, and I have seen that baby. And now Steve, his wife is pregnant, and will give birth in November to our second grand baby. How many grandchildren? I don't know. But Steve will be happy that I can see his baby. I love my family. You too? Love your family? Your deaf friends? Your deaf family? You love them? What is the most beautiful thing that I could see? Jesus? The most beautiful thing that I could see is my family all together with me in heaven. My most ugly thing that I would never, never, never want to see would be one of my family in hell. I would hate that. My cousin the deaf cousin, he's having problems with his family. His wife wants a divorce. His daughter is separated now. And the spiders are biting him. I hate that. I want a better life for him. But I am happy that recently he has accepted Jesus Christ. He has said, yes, the most important thing in this world <coughs> for me now is Jesus. My cousin, <coughs> I am happy that he is going to heaven. The 
The spider, I would hate it if it bit him before. Because if he died, where would he go? To hell. Because he didn't like Jesus. He didn't want to be a Christian. He hated God. But now, that has changed. And he loves God. My cousin. My dad. Facebook, and I try to explain for them about Jesus, about Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The one female cousin, second cousin, who is an atheist, this week put a picture of a baby on Facebook. And Above it said, I am born this way. And down below it had Psalm 139, verses 14 to 16. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. You knit my body together in this dark. In my mother's womb, you knit me together, and I am wonderfully made from your hands. What did I do? On Facebook, I comment quickly. I said, wonderful that you understand. There is a God who makes us. Wonderful that you understand. God made us this baby way. My other cousin sent to me a thing saying, did you, did you look? The baby's face is there, but the colorful wrapping is a rainbow color. And I said, that's okay. He said, no. The rainbow is for gay and lesbian. And I said, hey, <laughs> if this cousin is quoting the Bible for me, I would love that. I love that the cousin is quoting a song for me. This woman who says that she hates God is quoting verses about he, the one who made me. I am not against her. I am happy that she is uh, putting a Bible verse on her Facebook. Maybe confusing for me, yes. But it may be confusing for her, too. And she might understand that babies are not from me. That babies are from God, knitting together inside a mother the gift of life. The eternal life. That body is born from a body. From a mother's body is born a baby's body. But Jesus said, you need to be born a second birth. A second birth. Can you go back up inside your mother? Mom would say no. She wouldn't want that. Uh, but the second birth is from the Spirit. The Holy Spirit, here, as we are baptized, 
we meet together today in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We gather together remembering our baptism. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Trinity Sunday. We remember that God has already given to us a second life, a second birth, that you are belonging to God's family, like his only son, Jesus. When we see the light of Jesus, it is there. The cross, the light of Jesus, saying, ugly death has been conquered. Jesus' grave, he rose again and is alive forever. And Jesus gives to us eternal life. And we can share that with our friends. We can share his good news with our family, our deaf family. Again and again and again, I find the uh, computer a little bit addictive. <laughs> <laughs> but I find that the computer can be used for good. My friends and my family that I cannot drive to go to see a blind man, you wouldn't want me to drive. But I can go on the computer. And I can tell my friends, I can tell my family, my second cousins, second cousins, first cousins, I can tell them all about my Savior, Jesus, the God who makes me, the Son of God, Jesus, my Savior, who gives eternal life as a gift for free. I can tell my family and my friends about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, what's his job? He is in me to lead me every day, to comfort me and to tell me again and again and again as I sin, the Holy Spirit puts comfort in my heart that every day he will lead me until the Holy Spirit leads me into heaven. The gift of God is that we can tell the deaf people of Omaha, we can tell them about Jesus, his life. But we are sinners. Our lips are unclean. He touches us with fire from his altar, with the fire of his Holy Spirit. He touches us and makes us ready to stand before him and makes us ready to go for him. Here am I. 